Victoria Nicole and welcome back to my channel. I know, I know, what am I thinking? But it actually came out pretty good. I don't know if you can see it. Well, obviously you can see it because I can see it very well on my mirror. I just can't see through the viewfinder, which is a little small. But this is my craziness for today. I feel like there's so much craziness within all the Halloween tutorials, but I love it so much. I love I love this. I love creating. I love trying out new things. I love I love everything that comes with makeup and I hope you guys enjoy so so much because I enjoyed creating this. Well, my inspiration of my own color creation because it is inspired by the creative cliche which I'm gonna put up right over here she uses more darker colors but I wanted to transform it into this bright color to see how it looks and to kind of have the feet going you know <laughs> so let's get on to the video So today we are going to be doing a creative cliche tutorial. I absolutely love her. She's so amazing. She's so unique too. The things that she does. Oh my god. I just, I'm going to scroll, have a little screen scroll of just her page. It's so amazing. I have no idea how she does half the things she does, but... We are going to be doing her abstract skull, which is, it looks quite simple, so let's hope that it's simple, you know, that it's really simple. So I'm going to read to you what she says here. She says, abstract skull, do you have to work on Halloween? I have no time to get ready for the, af the party after. Just grab that bold lipstick that you're not ballsy enough to wear in public. She calls us all out. And draw up a rough sketch of a skull on your face. Day 53 of 100 days of makeup, CoverGirl liquid lipstick in no chill. So this she had done like six days ago. It says six days over here. And uh, it's, it's so simple, but it's beautiful. So I'm going to put the actual picture up here so you can see it. So uh, for me, I had wanted, because of the way, you know, the feed is scrolling, I wanted to kind of blend in with the two colors. So the two colors are pink and orange. So I wanted to draw it up first um, with a liquid, li uh, with a lip pencil before actually going in with the liquid lipstick. So let me uh, attempt this craziness oh what I'm wearing right now on the lips is world by Mac liner and liquid lipstick lip land in Reezy oh my god I love it I used to I wore it so much in the beginning and then I stopped wearing it but recently I wore Montenegro and then I was like well let me try Reezy and you already know oh, girl and that's a Reezy highlight. That light, it's really reflective. It's so natural, but then it's also really reflective too. I think you have to like play around with it. Because when I first received it, it wasn't like, it was a good natural highlight, but it wasn't like BAM. But I guess like once you go and dig into it a little bit, it starts like releasing a little more. And it's like, whoa, girl, like... Hello, hello. Oh my god. It's so beautiful. Beautiful. They better bring it back eventually. Because I'm gonna be so sad. Look at that. Look, look, look. That's all natural, like Ain't no face tune there, girl. 
Okay, let's get back to the creative cliche. So I'm gonna start off with the pink in the middle and then kind of like bring out the orange towards the end. So let's start off with this pink. So she has a few lines. So she has a line going right down the middle. And she has another one going down the side here of this part. Okay, so then she has another one going down right next to her nose. And this little dot up here. Now she does something with the nose. Let's go in with the liquid lipstick. So I'm taking, I'm trying to see which brush to use. I'm gonna take my little bit bigger brush and see what colors. Um, I'm gonna do the pink first. So the pink I'm using Sephora, Sephora's liquid lipstick in 03. I think it used to be called watermelon, but I think they took out the actual name. So I'm taking this little brush, I got it off of like Michael's I think, and going in, and I'm going to outline the, uh, the lip liner. Ah. Now I'm taking Ofra's Lip Good Lipstick in Venice. So, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you think I'm crazy or not for drawing this little beauty on my face. Would you prefer brighter colors or darker colors more like the creative cliche? So let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to my craziness. We have so many more crazy looks to go, but I am so excited for you to see everything. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.